Hello everyone, my name is Shubham Singh and in this session we are going to discuss about decision making questions which is of 2015 paper and in this session we are going to discuss a case lit which is quite a different from the uh, contemporary usual decision making questions. So let's quickly get to the question. So a case lit is given to us and the extract says Bright Engineering College BEC has listed 20 elective courses for the next term and students have to choose any seven of them. Simran, a student of BEC, notices that there are three categories of elective. First one is job oriented which is represented by J, quantitative oriented which is represented by Q and trade oriented which is represented by G. Among these 20 electives. Some electives are both job and grade oriented but are not quantitative oriented that is JG type. QJ type electives are both job and quantitative oriented but are not grade oriented. And lastly QG type electives are both quantitative and grade oriented but not job oriented. Simran also notes that the total number of QJ type elective is two less than OG type elective. Similarly the total number of OG type elective is two less than the JG type and there is only one common elective JQG across three categories. Furthermore, the number of only quantitative oriented elective is same as only job oriented electives but less than the number of only grade oriented electives. Each elective has at least one registration and there is at least one elective in each category or combination of these categories. So whenever you encounter such type of questions, uh, you can directly see that it is a set based question or a Venn diagram based question because three categories are given to us and in between the relationships are given. So I can directly say or I can directly assume that these are from the set questions. Now let's look at the first question. So before uh, going into the questions, I can say that what is the basic thing or what is the thing that are given to you here? is the first set A is your job oriented J, set B is your this and lastly your set C is this. Now the furthermore relationship is given to you that so this is our first information that three sets are given to you and this is QJ, JG and QG. This is the second piece of information in this extract. Third piece of information is Simran also notes that the total number of type QJ elective is two less than the OG type elective. So QJ is less than QG. This is your third piece of information. Similarly, the total number of QG type elective is two less than JG type elective. This is your fourth piece of information. So the first thing that you should do is to find the piece of information in the given extract. So the fifth set of information given here is there is only one common elective JQG across the three categories. So till now we have discussed about the five uh, points, key points that we have extracted from the case that only. Sixth case is the number of only quantitative elective is same as the only job oriented elective. So this is my sixth piece of information but less than the number of only grade elective. So this is my seventh piece of information. So from one extract only I can say I have took out almost seven to eight piece of information. Lastly each elective has at least one registration and there is at least one elective in each category. At least one registration is our eighth and there is at least one elective in each category or the combination of category that is our ninth piece of information. So before starting off with the questions you should make a Venn diagram of this possible thing so that you get the idea as to how we are going to make this question. So let's see how we are going to make the Venn diagram for this. So this is our first question. Question is saying on her way back Simran met her friend. So the first question says on her way back Simran meet, met her friend Raj and shared the above information. Raj is preparing for ZAD and is only interested in grade oriented electives. He wanted to know the number of grade type elective being offered. Simran replied you have all the information. Calculate the number of G type elective yourself. It would help your ZAD preparation. Raj calculates correctly and says there can be dash possible answers. So options are given to us as 3, 5, 8, 9 and 11. So let's quickly see how we are going to solve this question. So first I can say that I have three uh, possible things or three sets with me. So I assume it as J, I assume it as Q, I assume it as G. J stands for job oriented, Q stands for quantitative oriented and G stands for grade oriented. Now from those eight piece of information I can say now this common area between this thing is as JG, this common area is QG and this common area is JQ or QJ and in the question it is given to us there is only one common elective JQG this is our JQG and the value of this is given to us as 1. 
in the question i'll assume grade type oriented as y only g as y so only g in this particular set is my this thing y so i assume it as y secondly second piece of information or i can say third piece of information states that qj type elective is two less than the job oriented so i need to assume something which is in reference to all these things so qj is related with qg and qg is related to jg so i will assume my qj as z so this is my z now the with the fourth piece of information i can say that qg is nothing but z plus 2 since because qj is 2 less than qg and qg is 2 less than jg so i can say that this is z plus 4 furthermore it is said that j only j and only q are same so this is my basic venn diagram from the question and this whole value is given to me as twin now in the question only it is being told us that only grade type is greater than j and q so i can say i will directly write it as y is greater than x because grade is given to us is greater than quants and job oriented z plus 2 we have already taken now this complete venn diagram i can say that adding all these terms and since at least one is there so i can say that the value of none of these would be zero so adding all the terms we get x plus x plus plus z plus 1 plus z plus 2 plus z plus 4 plus y will be equal to 30 this will become 3z plus 2x plus y plus 7 is equals to 30 on solving this this will become 3z plus 2x plus y is equals to 30 so this we have derived out out of this Venn diagram now in the question let us assume that the x and y is greater than equals to 1 since in the question itself it is being that at least one is given to all the seven domains so x and y should be greater than equal to 1 and y should be greater than equals to 2 since because this is our uh, case now putting the values different different values now for z is equals to 1 i can say that the values are 2x plus y is equals to 10 and possible values of x comma y are 1 comma 8 2 comma 6 and lastly 3 comma for z is equals to 2 this is 2x plus y is equals to 7 and the possible values of x comma y are 1 comma 5 and 2 comma 3 for z is equals to 3 2x plus y is equals to 4 and the possible value of this is x plus y 1 comma 2 g is equals to g is given to me as twice of z plus y plus 7 this will give me the value of g as it is asked in the question question number one so if z is equals to 1 g is nothing but 17 15 and 30 we will take this case if z is equals to 2 then the value of g is nothing but 16 and 40 if z is equals to 3 the value of g would be 15 now the question is asking how many unique values of g are possible so i can say 15 is common in both the uh, both these things so this is a unique value so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so my answer to this question would be 5 unique values so let's see the solution of this question hence our answer to this question would be 5 5 unique values of possible values of g are 13 14 15 16 and 17 just keep this thing in mind about the venn diagram and because we are going to use this venn diagram in the coming questions as well so let's move on to the next question simran prefers j type electives and want to avoid q type elective she noted that the number of only j type elective is 3 raj preference is g type elective followed by q type electives however they want to take as many common electives as possible so what is the maximum number of electives that can be common between them without compromising their preferences and options given to us are 3 4 5 7 lastly e not possible to answer from the given above information now in this question from the previous uh, venn diagram i can say that my equation was 3z plus y plus 2x is equals to 13 now in this question it is given to me that x is equals to 3 because she noted that the number of only j type elective is 3 this was my previous venn diagram so the only j type the question is saying only j type that means x so the value of x is given to me as 3 here now this further equation will become 3z plus y plus 6 is equals to 13 this implies 3z plus y is equals to 7 now as we know that y is greater than equals to 2 from previous equation we can say that the only possible integer solution to this 3z plus y is equals to 7 1 comma 4 as z cannot be greater than y so 
the value of z comes out to be 1 and value of y comes out to be 4. Now I need to find what is the maximum number of elective that can be common between them without compromising their preferences. Now what is their preferences? That is jg. So jg is nothing but z plus 4. So z plus 4 implies 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5. So I can say that the maximum of 5 electives can be common between Simran and Raj without compromising their preferences. Hence our answer is option C. Let's look at the solution to this question. Moving on to the last question, Vijay and Raj want to avoid each other. Vijay is interested in J-type electives and wants to avoid Q-type electives. Raj preference is G-type electives followed by Q-type electives. Raj noted that the number of only G-type electives is 2. Is there a possibility that they would not share any common elective? And the option given to us are, yes, there is a possibility. No, they would not meet in one elective. No, they would not be able to avoid an in any two elective no they meet in five election cannot be solved with the information given so let's see how we can solve this question now in the question itself it is given that only g type is given to us as 2 so i can say that y is equals to 2 is given to us in this question now if y is equals to 2 x has to be 1 since we know that y is greater than x and if y is 2 the only possible value common integer value which is less than 2 is 1 so y has to be x now from the previous uh, first question i have this equation 3z plus 2x plus y is equals to 13. Now substituting value of y and x 3z plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 13. 3z is equals to 9. Z is equals to 3. Now I have all the values with me where x is equals to 1, y is equals to 2 and lastly z is equals to 3. Going on to the Venn diagram we have this as 1, this as z that means 3, this as z plus 2 which means 5, this as z plus 4 which means 7, this as x that means 1, this as x that means 1 and this as y that means 2. Now Vijay's interest is only in j type so Vijay's interest is only in j type so j type include this value and this value right and as he wants to avoid q so we will not take 3 and 1 for this case so i can say which can have values at z plus 4 that is jg which we have already calculated as 7 or combining both which is z plus 4 jg plus one type of j only which is this value so this is the value for vijay now let's talk about raj so the question is saying raj preference is g type elective followed by q type elective so for g we can say that raj can take only only g that is y in this case which is 2 or gq which is z plus 2 in this case this we have calculated 5 or followed by q so q means y q only plus gq which is 5 in this case and g only which is 2 for this case and 1 for this case so hence we have the following possibilities where both can completely avoid each other and these are the possibilities that I have written over here. In these circumstances, they both can completely avoid each other. So the question was asking that yes, there is a possibility they would meet in one elective, they would not be able to avoid in two electives, they meet in five electives. So the possible answer is yes, there is a possibility that I have shown you in this particular answer. Let's look at the answer to this question. Hence, Yes, there is a possibility. But that's all for this session. Stay tuned with us for more such ZAD caselets. Thank you.